Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Mars at its closest, biggest, and brightest for the year, plus the closest, biggest, and brightest full moon of the year. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And talk about a week of superlatives. Not only is the red planet Mars that is closest, biggest, and brightest for this year and next, but we'll also have the closest, biggest, and brightest full moon for all of 2010. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any night this week and next, a couple of hours after sunset, facing east where you will see Mars, a dazzling rouge gold, steadily glowing light, brighter than any star in the sky except Sirius, which is the brightest star we can see, and which you can compare to Mars simply by turning to the right and looking due south. Notice, however, that while Sirius is just slightly more dazzling, it shines a brilliant cold bluish white, while Mars glows a warm yellow gold with a hint of rouge red. And as I mentioned before, whereas Mars was 69 million miles away on January 1st, this week, Wednesday, January 27th, it is 7 million miles closer at a distance of only 62 million miles away at its very closest. Two nights later, on Friday the 29th, it is directly opposite the sun as seen from Earth, or as astronomers say, at opposition. So, if you've never been able to find Mars before, you can find it now, just by looking east. It will be directly above Leo the Lion, which is identifiable by a sickle-shaped group of stars, which mark his front, and a triangle of stars, which mark his rear. And because it is directly opposite the sun, it will be visible all the hours the sun is not, which means it will rise in the east just after the sun sets in the west, and will slowly travel up the heavens and reach its highest point at midnight. And then will slowly descend the heavens and set in the west as the sun rises in the east. So you can see it all night long. Now, although Mars is at its very brightest this week, it will still be very bright throughout February. But because it is only half the size of our planet Earth, 4,000 miles wide, it never gets really big in a telescope like Jupiter, which is 88,000 miles wide. Through a telescope, you'll see more of its northern hemisphere, which is tilted toward Earth right now. In fact, it is springtime in Mars' northern hemisphere right now, so you'll be able to watch Mars' northern polar ice cap, which will look like a white dot, slowly shrink as the weeks go by and spring turns into summer. Go to our website regularly, because we'll be featuring some really good views by planetary photographer Dr. Don Parker of Coral Gables, Florida. And now to see the closest, biggest, and brightest full moon of the year, simply go outside Saturday night, January 30th, just after sunset, face east once again, and you can watch it rise. It will be only 221,560 miles away, which is 31,000 miles closer than the farthest full moon of this year on August 24th. In fact, it will look 13% bigger and 30% brighter. Now, because full moons always look bigger when they are closer to the horizon, this full moon will look its biggest just after sunset on Saturday and just before sunrise on Sunday. So, get the out for both the moon and Mars at their closest, biggest, and brightest for the year. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.